everybody and welcome to TMC Natural Beauty aka the Mind Catchers channel and today I have two guests with me. These are the Diva Sisters and they also have a YouTube channel. I'll link down below. They are my daughters. This is Nadia and this is Gabby. Okay so we did a uh, Bath and Body Works haul a while back and everybody seemed to like it, so I decided to bring these two knuckleheads back. All right, so we're gonna start off with Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. And you can see it's, well, hopefully you can see from there. I tried to have the camera as close as I could with all three of our faces in there, but it's just a little corner left, and we're gonna use every last drop. Uh, the fragrance notes for this was Pumpkin Latte, Toasted Marshmallows, Creamy Sandalwood, Praline Musk. Okay, so I'm gonna, oh, bubbles, <laughs> bubbles come out. I'm gonna snip it. I, I, I like it. I think it's okay. I like it, but I don't love it. What do you think? I would use it, but it's not a whoa. <laughs> she says it doesn't whoa her. Scale from one to 10, what do you give marshmallow pumpkin latte? Mm, a seven out of 10. Seven, what do you give it? Like a six. Six, I give it a five. All right, Sunrise Woods, Sunrise Woods. You see it's just a, a little bit more than pumpkin latte, but it's just like a little corner left. The notes are creamy sandalwood again, uh, sweet berries, and cozy cashmere. So this is something I should have liked. Eh. Scale from one to 10. Nine. Nine, really? Okay, scale from one to 10. Ten, really? I feel like men's stuff smell better. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah, they said that in the last video. I'll give it an eight. Japanese cherry blossom. Uh, she picked this one out. It was her birthday. She picked out the whole set. So she got this. She got the spray, which is where? Oh, one of spraying. these. Yeah. I got the spray and then the hand um, like lotion. Is the hand lotion going? Yeah, I used it. Okay, so she used up everything. So. We got Japanese cherry blossom. This is how much of the spray. So she got lots of spray left. And that's usually how it goes. You have so much of the mist left. Uh, the bath gel. I haven't used it at all because I knew it was hers. You know, and I knew she she really wanted this when we got to the store. And she smelled it, so I didn't touch it. Did you bathe with it? No, I don't really. So she would have to tell you. But the notes are Japanese cherry blossom, Asian pear, fresh mimosa petals, white jasmine and there's the sandalwood again blushing sandalwood okay we're gonna smell it first i like that mm, it's okay it's just okay to you give her scent memories come flooding back i like this one like or love i love it because it smells very fresh feminine it's a very feminine scent it, it's um not too floral. Well, they say that this is like number one uh, Bath and Body Works scent of all time. Like number one, that's what they're saying. How true that is, I don't know. Maybe it's the number one for the people who are writing the blogs. I don't know, but that's what it's saying. So if you have not tried out Japanese Cherry Blossom, please give it a go. Scale from one to 10. Um, a six, it kind of reminds me of like an old lady stuff. Oh, okay. She said old lady. Okay, go ahead. She gave it a six. I give it a ten. Ten out of ten. I give it about a nine. It's a pretty good one to me. All right. Hello, beautiful. Um, let's go back over. Hello, beautiful. The scents were white gardenia, jasmine petals, magnolia blossom, pink nectarine, and cotton musk. Now, I think if it had all of that floral in there and there was no musk, I possibly wouldn't like it. Sniff it, give us a one to 10 on Hello Beautiful. I like that one, I'll give it a 10. Oh, 10 out of 10. I give it about a nine, 10, like a nine slash 10. Yeah, it's a 10, I like that. Okay, so we like, oh, let's put that in our like <laughs> top 10, okay. So we had the spray in there too, and look, the spray is almost gone. Oh, so we like that one. So we like that one. Everybody likes that one, Hello Beautiful, okay. Let's talk about that. Next one, that's what she's talking about, Fresh Getaway. I've only used this once because it was in the window in the path. I knew it because I was like, I went in there, I was like. <laughs> Somebody's using my stuff. Yeah, oh, I, I used it one time, I used it once. 
I knew she picked it for her birthday, but I, I just was like, uh, I don't think, I think nothing else was in the window in the bathroom except for this and like dial. And I, and I, I might've picked this. I, I, I just use whatever's new in the window. <laughs> I, put, I put that in my room for a couple of days because I was like, uh-uh, it's gonna be my, <laughs> it's either Gabby, I, it's like, She's the number one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gabby is still from Gabby was still from you. Okay, so fresh getaway. Um, it has bright yuzu citrus, uh, fresh ocean air. Those are the only two. It's okay. The oh. citrus to me is overpowering. I'm gonna let you go last. <laughs> it's okay. It's just okay. I give it a seven. Yeah, it's a little too much citrus, it's but I still give it like an 8.5. Oh wow, 8.5. But I can make it out too. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so don't touch it. We're gonna, I'm gonna just bring this up since we're, we keep talking about it. Magnolia Charm. I got this because the packaging was absolutely gorgeous. That's mm -hmm. number one. Number two, everybody was talking about it at the time. The fragrance notes are Dewy Pear Blossom, Blooming Magnolia, and Fresh Cedar. I don't like it. Why not? It, it grew on me for a minute and now I don't like it again. And, and it's loud. <laughs> this is about as loud as my voice is right now. You guys know my voice carries. It's loud and I just, I can't. And I think it, it, it makes your, your towels stink. Yeah. It's just too much. I really now, like this one though. I love this one. Gabby has one. It is rose. It makes your towel I stink until I yeah, want to I throw it away. She is so right. We don't like floral scents to that level. It's this a is a gosh. tremendous... The floral notes in here are just ridiculous. It's just too much. Like, Gavin would use the bathroom and she would bathe first. Like, some nights. But, like, I can smell that from the hallway. Yeah. And I felt like, oh, she must not be bathing her armpits or something. <laughs> <laughs> Pumpkin cupcake. Pumpkin cupcake is just a tiny bit left. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, because it's just a tiny bit left doesn't mean that everybody liked it. It just means that this I refuse to take this out of the bathroom until that little bit is gone. We have to use this. This will remain until the, in the bathroom until it is gone. I swear to you. All right, so... The fragrance notes in here are whipped buttercream, pumpkin spice, and vanilla cake batter. I'm not a vanilla person, but I smell mainly the cake in this. I feel like the marshmallow pumpkin latte had more of the pumpkin spice type smell in it than this did. I don't like I love that phrase, Gourmand. Gourmand. I love that, that word. I don't like the, um, the ones that smell like food, like desserts and stuff. I don't like Oh, you don't like those? A two. Okay. She said a two. All right. Grapefruit Frosé. Grapefruit mm -hmm. Frosé. It has uh, notes of sparkling grapefruit, frozen rosé, and sun splash sugar. You can definitely smell the rosé in it. Mm -hmm. And you can definitely smell grapefruit. You definitely do. I give this... Out of 10, 8. Mm -hmm. I, I like this one. When I uh, smelt it in the bathroom, I was like, oh, this is pretty good. Because this was like in the back. Nobody touched it. It was full. And I picked it up one day and said, look, oh, this smells pretty good. And I liked it. I like this one because it smells like Fruit Loops. You think it smells like Fruit Loops? Yes. Well, that's that's why, that's great what I fruit. always thought. That's what I always thought. Mm. It smells like fruit loops. I don't get fruit loops from that. But okay. So like a 7. 7.5. I'll give it like a 7. I can use this. But I don't really. I want to go all out for it. I'll probably, if they have a travel size of this. I'll probably buy it. I would take that to Disney. Yeah. And bathe in it. Yeah. This one is called Midsummer Dream. I think I like that. It's salted pear. Fresh Nectarine and Seaside Lily. I think I liked, it's just okay. I give it a five. I'm out of 10, what do you give it? Like a nine. 
Oh, really? Okay. You see how things work, guys? So you have to just go in store and smell these things for yourself because you see how different our opinions are on this. This is amazing to me. I don't want to be rude about it, but I don't want to be nice. So I'll give it like a seven. Seven, and you said what, 10? A nine. A nine, a nine. Okay, so we're gonna just breeze through these because these were long ago but we still got so much of it. All right, this is Sunshine Mimosa. Remember, everybody was going crazy about this, I think, what, last summer? It's just okay now to me. I mean, I liked it, liked it last year, but I don't like it, like it this year. It's okay. Uh, the notes on here were bright, bubbly champagne and citrus. There's citrus again. I'm not feeling too much citrus this time around. I mean, people were going crazy, but I think it was the packaging. It was just so pretty. An eight. An eight? Okay. That's kind of high. Okay. I don't know how to describe it. It's like strong. Yes, it's strong. But I feel like the perfume It's stronger than perfume, I thought it would be. I feel I like any five. perfume would give me a headache or something. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't add too much. I got the perfume in this, like the little tiny perfume thing. I got this. I got the lotion. Is that it? Yeah. I got the cream and I had the bath gel. And now I'm like, I was feeling it then, but now I'm not feeling it anymore. So pretty as a peach and we have it in two different. This is the older one. This is the old one. This is the newer one. Um, the fragrance notes are blushing peach, jasmine petals, white nectarine, apple blossom, and sheer freesia. Now, freesia, for some reason, my, I kind of like. I like it. It's very peachy. They did a good job with that. It's very peachy. Nadia, like, used the heck out of that. She was digging it. And now, it's like I don't see it You anymore. see, you fall in and out of love with fragrances, guys. You fall in and out of love. At that moment, I was feeling it. And that's why it's good to have these videos, because... I can go back to those original videos and you guys can see where I was just like, oh God, it smells so great. And now it's just like, hmm. I give it about an eight. I give it about an eight. I think this is nice. Pretty as a peach. Apparently a lot of people like it. They keep bringing it back in different packaging. So a lot of people like that one. All right, a thousand wishes. Let's go real fast. A thousand wishes, pink Prosecco, sparkling, Clancy. I don't know what, how you pronounce that one. Sorry guys. Crystal. Uh, peonies, gilded amber, and an amaretto cream. I love a thousand wishes. I, I like this one a lot. I, I still like it. It's not my favorite, but I still like it a, a lot. I really do like it a lot. I give it a 9.5. It's like I wish I could spray it all in my car. Just I give it a. It's nice. It's not. Yeah. The, it's not the best, so I would give it like. An eight. Okay, so after a year, I still give this a solid nine. Will I buy it again? Definitely. I want to try a thousand, what it was, a thousand Christmas wishes or something like that. A lot of people are talking about. Did not get my hands on it. I definitely will this time around if, you know, it's available around here. All right. Hibiscus Paradise. I love it. I love it, love it, I love it. I have the lotion in my room. I don't know. Did I say I didn't like it? I thought you said you didn't like it. No, I think that was the Bahamas thing. Oh, no, it was the Magnolias. No, it was Magnolias. <laughs> okay, Hibiscus Paradise. I absolutely love it. I think I said I loved this one when I first smelled it. Why? Because my dad used to have a hibiscus bush in the front yard. And you walk outside and you smell the hibiscus. I give this a solid 10. She gave it a solid, a solid 9. No, just a nine. <laughs> it's not gonna be a ten. Okay. So I might give it like a three. A three. Okay. Pure wonder. Pure wonder. We had it in the um, shower gel, and we had the Bath and Body Works Glotion Body Butter. Okay. I I really didn't think about the word glotion. I don't follow Bath and Body Works like that. I really don't watch a lot of people reviewing it unless I'm about to buy some. So I didn't know that this actually had sparkle in it. 
It's yeah. a heck of a lot yeah, of I glitter in this. It's very light and, and, and it's a nice like whipped butter and I'm quite sure, well I've used it on my legs and it gives you a nice little sheen, but it's so much darn glitter. It's just like, it was just okay for me. That was one of the ones that I bought because of the packaging. The packaging was absolutely gorgeous. But I'll give it like a seven. If you had the uh, shower gel to smell, you would have had a better representation of it right now. Like this is much milder than the shower gel, in my opinion, right? The shower gel was much louder and it was very perfumey. It wasn't floral, it was more of a perfumey, I can't describe. It wasn't floral though, so it didn't. Uh, it says ice rose, star jasmine, and uh, warm white amber are the notes. It's getting everywhere. I, I think the amber is what pulled me from, uh, you know, to buy it, but the packaging had me at hello. Get, I give the shower gel about a six. Um, this, depending on where I'm going, if I was going out, out, you know, date night, shoulders out, you know, I would give this a 10. Um, to our gourmand sense, uh, we're gonna go through these really fast because he came out a long time ago. Chocolate covered cherry. I never liked that. I liked it. It's rich milk chocolate, red cherries, and sweet liqueur. Mm -hmm. I liked it. I, I like the milk chocolate. You definitely get the chocolate and the cherries. I still give it like an eight. Oh, it's a chocolate that I... I give it a zero. It's almost like a fake chocolate, but we used to eat... It's like kind of dark chocolate. Tootsie Roll. Oh. I never... Had, well, I smelled a Tootsie Roll. That, that's Tootsie Roll. That's a Tootsie Roll. That's a, This is Tootsie Roll. Vanilla Bean Noel. No, Let's I just, had that one for Christmas. I had the lotion in my room. Like, I got it last year, but it... it expired like it changed it was white now it's like a beige color so i have to throw it away yeah the creams go bad quick it's a fresh vanilla bean sugar cookies warm caramel whipped cream snow kissed musk the shower gel did you like it do you remember i, I, I think it had the mini shower yeah i think so i don't like this that one i got it like christmas maybe it's, day so. it's just old maybe but people keep their sprays a long time. I don't like it. All right, raspberry jam donut and strawberry pound cake. We still got plenty of the spray left. What do we think? I like both. I like strawberry pound cake way better. Really? Strawberry pound cake notes, fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, whipped cream. Now, you need all three, in my opinion, to get the full effect. I give this one like a nine. Okay. Now you can smell it on my wrist too if you want. This was okay. You would have to like layer it, like she said, like yeah. a lot. But I like it. I mean, that's good it's by nice. itself. That's good by itself. But I know when we used the shower gel, the, the spray, and the lotion, my husband was like, oh yeah, that smells good. Like, you can smell that down the hall. I really like that. Wow, you know, he was really going on and on about these gourmand scents. He liked that. The raspberry jam donut with the spray, I smell definitely jam. Yeah. Wild raspberry jam, definitely jam. I think that's the, the loudest scent you get in the spray. I give that a nine. That yeah. was good. That was good too. And I have, it's a little strong though. I, it gets a zero. It's supposed to press up the pie. I'd say about a nine, nine and a half for all of these that came out together. Uh, the only one I didn't get was the coconut cream pie. I think that's the one that we didn't get. The ones that were not here, berry waffle cone was one. We did buy that one. Um, it's not here because we threw it away. I kind of like that one too. I'll give that one a seven. I remember Berry Waffle Cone pretty well. It smelled pretty good. I, I'm not, I don't hate it. Berry Waffle Cone was good. What do you think? I think it was okay. It was I, okay. I only used it because um, it was about to be like gone anyways. Yeah. I have winter candy apple in my room. I love that one. I, get that I don't like it. It's not... It's not the best. 
it's just okay. I'm sorry. It's just okay. All right. We don't. We don't. We're not feeling your winter candy apple it's vibe. Not. You know. I like the Easter fragrance that came out. I got the little one. Mm -hmm. Um, that was sweet and nice. I like that, that one. Like cereal. Yeah, that was good. Um. I also got a hand cream, a hand cream that I really like. It was paraffin. I went back, because I have another haul here, the new stuff. Guys, I went back on the website to get this. It was gone. It makes your hands look so moisturized and beautiful. It really does. I think with women, I, I think it could be that time of the month. After that time of the month and your your senses and everything just switch up and change and that's why it's, and see men don't understand this husbands especially boyfriends like they don't understand that we need to switch it up every once in a while we need all of this we need all of this because some days you're feeling it some days you're not some days you're feeling like strawberry pound cake the other days you're feeling like uh, sunshine mimosa and they just don't get it it's all right guys so these are the new purchases that I made uh, Mother's Day. Uh, my hubby and my kids got me a gift card and I had coupons, so I was winning. Mm -hmm. So back on the hand cream situation, I was trying to find a dupe for paraffin and I bought two more um, hyaluronic acid um, hand cream and I bought uh, shea butter hand cream, and I said I just want to see you how these make mine. Yeah, you can't go wrong with shea butter. Shea butter is classic for your ashy knees. It's classic for your ashy knees. So if you have ashy knees, you need shea butter in your life. Go for it. All right. The first thing I wanted to talk about was the red, white, and blue specials here they have here, and I found out that these are. Um, uh, what does the girl say? I did watch a girl talk about this one. I think she said cake pop or mm -hmm. it was like a um, new packaging, but it was uh, something that was repeated. Uh, the fragrance notes in this are creamy cake frosting, rainbow sprinkles, and vanilla bean. And this is called Vanilla Confetti Sparkle. It smells delicious. It really, really does. I might not be feeling it in a week because it, it's a it's a it's a gourmand a scent. It's a gourmand like scent. These this one is only my favorite one ever. I love this one. one because she, it smells like Disney's caramel popcorn and it tastes really good. I hate popcorn. Oh. Did you taste that popcorn? It was no. really good. I really like that one. That one's like a one. I popcorn. don't like popcorn because mm -hmm. I almost choke. Okay. It, it does. It does smell like the caramel popcorn for some weird That one's reason. like in my top three from all the ones. Mm -hmm. At this moment, my mind could change, but at this moment, I'm giving it a seven. You give it a... 100. 100. What are you giving it? A two at best. A two at best. Because I can give it a zero. I want to give it a zero, <laughs> but... She's not feeling any because, of the Mormon sense right now. Because it's from Bath and Body Works. You like um, Bath and Body Works, so you're gonna be nice. I'm gonna give it a two. Because right. they tried their hardest to satisfy us. Yes. So I'm just gonna give it a two. This one is called Firecracker Pop, and I just took the top off. This one I love. It's red cherry, fresh citrus. Again. <laughs> and juicy berry. Now, I just said everything that has citrus in it, I really didn't like. But this, this smells like a, a cherry ice pop. It or says this one smells like the slushy from Sonic. Sonic. Okay, moving on to Pink Watermelon Blast. And this has fragrance notes of juicy pink watermelon, sugar strawberry blossoms, and lime zest. Mm -hmm. Just the zest of the lime. All yeah. right. I love this. You definitely get the watermelon. I might have it before. It does smell like Bobalicious. Oh, I It see. does. Yes. It's Correct. Like it smells like bubble. Yeah, the, like the big bubble that y'all remember and your jaw got tired from chewing on it. It, yes, exactly that. And like I said to them before my camera cut off, 
Um, I heard rumor that Bath and Body Works will be coming out with like a bubble gum scent very soon. I don't know if they're going to have it for the um, semi-annual sale that's coming up. I think that's supposed to be June 13th. So I'm saving all my pennies and dimes for that. All right, so Gabby has one in her hand. What is that one? It's called Fairy Tales. It's packaging. Very pretty. It's called Fairy Tales. So um, let's see. Okay, the fragrant note says it has pomegranate nectar, mm. fresh orange blossom, mm. vanilla bean, and warm amber. Oh, we got amber and we got vanilla. Let's see what it's going to be like. Now, I heard yeah. so many people talking about See, fairy tale. I really like this one because it smells like very clean and fresh. I like this one a lot. This one is like first place. It's this mm -hmm. one, then it's the vanilla one over there, vanilla sparkle. Mm -hmm. um, then probably the butterfly one. Now, I'm going to say this. They call this fairy tale. It's just like your Snow White. And the first thing I said in the store when we purchased this was, well, no, we didn't buy it in the store. I think we smelled it the first time and then I ordered it online. The first thing I told them was, if this is like fairy tale, the first thing I think of is Disney. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I, and then the second thing I think about it is what princesses were in the woods. It's a woody scent to this. It's a fresh, woody, like by the uh, sparkling spring. Okay. Like I get the Rapunzel vibe. Like you're singing something. Right. Singing to the animals. Like I'm saying, into the woods. Into the woods. Into the woods. <laughs> oh. It smells pretty good. That one is like a memory it's, it's scent. Most like Men's again. Yeah. I really like this one. Yeah, it's a oh, unisexness to that. Like a clock like Alice. Yeah, like Alice and one, that. yeah. She's looking at the packaging and it's like a little clock there. Kind of reminds you, they can't see it for a while. <laughs> but it kind of reminds, I might put pictures in of each one I'm talking about. That's going to take me a long time, y'all. If I don't do it, now sorry. I like tea. I don't know. Like a green tea, maybe? It, it smells yeah, very, it's woodsy in a good way, woodsy and fresh in a good way, um, zesty, like, uh, like, 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 um, Irish springish, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know, daddy's, uh, he loves Irish yeah. spring. He, he loves Irish spring. Then why you use it? He, <laughs> he loves Irish spring. And I get a little bit of that in there. So they hit the nail on the head when, when they did fairy tale. It's like I want more of these just because of the packaging. I love you. I'm a sucker for green. You got a green top. You got green packaging. It's very pretty. Very aesthetic looking. It, it's very, very pretty. I give this for the packaging and the scent. I give it a solid 8.5. Until I shower with it, it's going to be an 8 just because of scent. What do you give it? An eight. An eight? Two million. Two million. Okay. Yes, this said. one is called Butterfly. Butterfly. And it has beautiful purple packaging. The butterflies all over the front. You have raspberry nectar, iris petals, and airy vanilla. Mm. So it's not a strong vanilla. It's, it's not an spicy. airy. It's not a spicy vanilla. Oh. It reminds me of something. I know exactly what, I, I'm going to let you talk first. I, I know exactly No, I'm what talking about know. like a video I saw. Oh, okay. It smells like something we had before, but I That's a scent memory. That's a scent memory. It's amazing how things will bring back memories you've had. So I watched this YouTuber. Her name is Piper Raquel. And she made a music video and it's called Butterflies. And when I saw this, it kind of reminded me of the music video. Mm. And it kind of has like the same font. As it, mm. and it smells really good. I like this. It smells very light. It smells like something for babies. Yes. Let That's me why. tell oh, you. Kind of smell like powder. Let me tell you what it reminds me of. Are you ready? No. Are you ready? It reminds me of Mr. Bubbles. Mr. Oh. Bubbles. If you remember, my grandmother used to bake. God rest her soul. She used to bathe us 
and Mr. Bubbles. Every time we spend the night at her house, it's a beautiful scent. It's very sweet. It's very baby-like. They did a great job with this one because it, oh, it's like grandma. Oh, yeah. Ain't that just so sweet? There it is. Okay, so you're I gonna give us one. the next one. Okay. Get uh, Nadia picked this one out. So like, I love lavender. Lavender. Lavender is my favorite scent ever. It is. I have the um, little travel size lotion. I used to have the pillow spray, but I ran through that quickly. Yeah. I used to have, I think I had the, um... You had the la lavender aromatherapy. Yeah, like that was, <coughs> Excuse me. like, the best ever. So, like, I love lavender. My room is purple, so I like the packaging of that one. Mm -hmm. So, I'd go out my way for lavender. She would go out of her way for la lavender. All right, Gabby, please give us the name and the notes of this one. <laughs> This Lean one, in so they know you're here. This one is called Sea Salt and Lavender. Sea Salt lavender. and Lavender. And then on the back it says the fragrance notes are fresh sea salt, blooming lavender, and sun-drenched sands. Okay. Awesome. Yes. You know, I changed my mind. Um, so the top four are um, is Vanilla Sparkle, Fairy Tale, Butterfly, and no. this one. But this one... Um, this one's number one, then vanilla is really? number two, then fairy tale. Um, actually, no. Um, no, no, wait. This one's number one, then, then vanilla, then butterfly, then fairy tale. So this got your top spot. Mm -hmm. Now you just said that fairy tale got 200 from you. Two million. Two million? Yeah. Now, what does this get? Ten million. Ten. <laughs> It smells so clean and just very light. I Again, this is it. sea salt lavender. But like lavender is my favorite ever. No, it doesn't really matter what lavender is mixed with. You just love lavender. Like the color, the packaging, the scent. Well, oh, that's salt. Like lavender nice. is the best. Like when we're, that one. when we're done with this video, I'm probably going to use butterflies first, then fairy tale, then that one. Oh, this is very nice. Guys, this is very nice and soft. It's very nice. And it does give you beach vibes. It says sea salt lavender. You definitely get the lavender. Definitely, no doubt. But there is like an oceanness, a breezy, like she said, a freshness. A vibe. It's a vibe. It's definitely a beachy vibe to that. It really, it really is. That's nice. They, they captured that. I should have gotten the lotion and the spray. I think we would use it up. I think I think we would. All right, what is this one? Um, we got beautiful day, beautiful day. Uh, the notes are sun-kissed apple, sparkling cassis. I'll put it here in the video. Uh, wild daisies, pink peony, and fresh woods. Now, anything with the fresh woods, the amber, the sandalwood, musk, I'm going to kind of like it. I read the notes online, and that's why I bought it. Beautiful Day is giving me fresh vibes. It's giving me, what was the name of the hand soap I had in the bathroom? It was the white t-shirt. Was that white t-shirt? Mm -hmm. It's giving me vibes like that, but a little bit more perfumey. This is good. This is very good. Like, I wish I would have gotten a spray in this one, too. Oh, sea salt lavender, I give this a 10 and a half. I think that, that's a very good this one. This one might be, like, the first one I used. Like, this is the best one so far. Then lavender. Oh, really? You put that over lavender? Yeah. Lavender. Well, I, I like this one. I can't it's just a copycat. So, um, this one... Then lavender, then butterflies. I might change my mind and use butterflies first because I like it, but right now I like this one. Yeah, that, this surprised me. This surprised me. That's that's good. That's really good. And it's not. It, it's it's very sweet. And don't don't let it spill out. We need all, all, every drop of that. It's very soft and. It says, beautiful day captures the perfect spring day full of fun, carefree memories. It, it, it's, it's a bright scent, but not loud. 
It's a happy scent. It's happy. Yes, it's I happy. Just danced. <laughs> I just danced. <laughs> I just danced. I just danced. I don't okay, know. Yes, I just did a dance. Yeah, like, that's what it. Yeah. It, it makes me want to dance, guys. And it's and it's a beautiful packaging. It has these pretty like daisies on the front. It's very nice. I did good. Now, that one I bought online. I did good. Hands down. These are top two for me right now. It's we so, still got two more to go. It's okay. Ask me what's my favorite. Like, what would you use all the time? Lavender. Mm -hmm. Oh really? Yeah. It's soft enough. Yeah. Lavender is kind of powdery. Yeah. But it's light at the same time. Both of them have a powderiness to them. But beautiful day is a little brighter. Lavender is more subdued, like chill. And, and beautiful day is a little bit more vibrant. Like beautiful day is girls stay out, hanging out. We could see it. We could do brunch. We could hang out. We could go to the mall and then do brunch. And everybody's sipping on mimosas and we're just having a good time. You want to sip the mimosa with no. me? Yeah. yeah. No. You don't want to. No. Okay. Well, we'll get you a diet coke. I don't want a diet coke. <laughs> okay. Uh, buttercups and berry bubble. Buttercups and Berry Bellini, and the packaging is very cute. And it's the fragrance note says there is strawberry puree, buttercup flowers, and mm. and bubbly prosecco. Mmm, prosecco again. Prosecco fooled me before. Let's see if it doesn't fool me again. Fool me once, shame on me. <laughs> fool me twice. Okay. Um. It's okay. I, I like it's this okay. Yeah. It's it, it's sweeter than I thought it would be. Scale from one to ten, I give this about an eight. What do you give it? A six. A six? Because it smells like a vitamin. About an eight. About an eight. All right. This one is Summer Melody. So many people are talking about this, and like I said, I wish I would have watched a few other people's videos before I purchased because I would have bought the big one. This one is great, and a lot of people are talking about it. A lot of people want this. It, it's good. It is summer all wrapped up. This is what Sunshine Mimosa should have been, I think. It's not as perfumey as Sunshine Mimosa. It's softer, but it's still woman. It's still bright and airy it's like all of these together there is a softness about it but there is a brightness about it too it's a, a, a woke scent it's not a sleepy scent it's not your lavender but it's very good and i think it it, it will have the bathroom nice and bright like when you come out everybody's gonna be like oh look at your face i like this one it this smells, should have been a candle it smells like the watermelon one but very, very like watered down. This mm -hmm. one looks like, and I like this one better. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, anytime when you think of summer, a lot of people think bathing suits, watermelon, barbecue. I'm getting a watermelon vibe from this as well. She's right. There, there's a watermelon vibe to it. I need to look up the, the notes. Of the, let me see what the notes are. Cause, all right, so the notes are golden honeydew and bronzed vanilla. I give it like a 9.5. It, it's better than I expected it to be. Last but not least, I decided to try aromatherapy um, shower steamer. This is my first time ever buying a shower steamer. We have showers in the house. We don't have any tubs anymore. So um it has sandalwood eucalyptus and mandarin and i it, in here you can smell it loud and clear it, it smells like a chillax scent when you smell it like i wish i would have gotten a candle for this it wasn't as strong in the shower i had it high in the shower like it was steaming but I still didn't smell it. It wasn't as strong as it was. At it all. was it was um like it smells really good. Though. It was bubbling and fizzing, but I still didn't smell it. It bubbled, it fizzed. No, because I put it did mine, what it was supposed to do. I put mine in the shower and I didn't smell anything and then when I looked down it just wasn't there anymore. <laughs> I 
it, I mean, it did what it was supposed to do. Like when I put it in the shower, they said do not put it in direct stream of the shower. I put it off in the corner of the shower. I looked at it, I saw it fizzing and everything, but I didn't smell anything. I thought there would be like smoke appearing. That's what I, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I kind of thought. It was just yeah. I didn't get therapy yeah. for that. You didn't you didn't no. get therapy from no, it? I didn't. Okay, but we'll contact Ayana. I, I, I hope you guys enjoy our you know little talk. I know this was a long video, but uh long videos are trending right now and um maybe you're cleaning the dishes or something and you just that's where I watch YouTube. I usually watch the dishes and I have my phone right there in the cabinet and I'm watching um, anybody you know as I'm washing this and I love long videos so hopefully I was able to do that for you um, top three off the top of your head name them um, from the old or the new give us top three okay my top one from the new is butterfly she likes butterfly the second one is probably going to be seashell lavender Sea salt. Oh, sea salt lavender. Sea salt lavender is her second. And it could be new or old. Any any scent. Beautiful flower. Beautiful flower. Okay. Oh, you mean beautiful day? This one? Yeah. <laughs> it might be a scent called beautiful flower that I don't know anything about. I feel like beautiful day. Something called beautiful than something. Hello beautiful. Yeah, hello beautiful. That's it. So Nadia's um top three are beautiful i mean uh butterflies sea salt lavender and beautiful day top three all time um vanilla sparkles i'm there um vanilla sparkle oh that's your favorite one and i think again they say that this is um I have the picture here in the video if I could find it. They said that this is just a repackaging of the one that I'm going to put in the video. I, I forget what it's called, but that's one of her favorites. Uh huh. So that one, sea salt and lavender and fairy tale. Mmm. Look at that. Sea salt lavender is still representing it. Staying out there in the front. That is awesome. All right, guys. Bell's top three. Are we excited to hear about it? Um, go ahead, Bally. Well, do you, I know you like fairy tales. So are you I do. Fairy tales? I do. It can be old or new. Okay. <clears throat> scent alone. If we're basing it on only scent. Oh. Only scent. Not the color of the bottle, not the packaging and all that stuff. I would have to grudgingly take fairy tale out of it. It will be in my top five, but I would have to take Fairy Tale out of it. If you if you include a packaging, Fairy Tale will definitely be in the top three. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot, but I, I got to put it back. You know, top three. No. Okay, Summer Melody would go um, there. Well, yeah. yeah, it's good. It's really good. Um. Thank you, keep lavender. Uh, 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 uh. Don't forget you have the. Um, yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking. You like butterfly? No, not like that. What? Like that, not like if that. If I could like. What like if you? I only could choose three. If I can only choose like one scent, like the actual scent, not the um, packaging. Lavender. Really? All the way. All the way. Okay. Oh boy. That's the only scent in the world I would like actually put on every single day until it runs out. Oh, okay. Wow. Um. Standing occasion. Lost for words. I'll take this one away. No! That, that's you. Yeah. Um. So I'll keep lavender right there. I, I want to say I'll keep lavender. Mm. Hibiscus Paradise. Nasty. One of my all-time favorites. This lavender is good. Guys, sea salt lavender. I'll keep it. I'll keep it up there. Top three. So we have to say our favorite scent of all is sea salt lavender. 
so that is it again thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope we did not bore you like i said i love long videos especially when somebody's rambling and talking it gets me through all of my housework and everything if you love videos like this please give us a thumbs up we appreciate you so much um i will have the girls um haul video where they did all this bath and body works like the very first time when we bought all of this stuff I will link that down in the description box and I'll possibly put it, um, pin it in the comments section because they did a pretty good job and you, if there are several that were missing that I can't remember, we had a big group that time. It was a lot, but I, I cannot for the life of me remember all of them. So check that video out. Cyber kisses. Bye.